Hello, this is Randall Root, and this uh, video is about working with Chapter 3 exercises, specifically Exercise 3.1. In the uh, third chapter of the book, um, you take a look at what it's like to start planning a BI solution. And what it comes down to is deciding whether or not you'll be able to create a solution that will be advantageous for your client. A client either being, you know, some company you're, you're contracting through or perhaps somebody in your department. Whatever it is, it follows kind of very similar steps no matter what the scenario. First of all, you need to kind of start the process, uh, kind of interview uh, uh, people about what they need. If there's no people around to interview, you need to start going through and looking at what people currently have, looking at uh, documentation, looking at databases, etc., until you get a general idea about uh, what they currently have, and then go ahead and make your best educated guess from there. Sometimes there's actually no authority that you can, you can talk to uh, directly. But whatever the case may be, you need to gather some information. Then you need to go through and kind of <clears throat> document uh, what you found, find out how you uh, where the data is at by isolating it, and then decide whether or not uh, the, the data, the requirements, the the information you've learned, if all of that can be uh, merged together to create a solution. Uh, if it can be done, you proceed on. If not, you don't. Anyway, the um, the process is kind of interesting, and certainly, although it varies from um, situation to situation, I think you're going to find out there's some commonalities. One of them is deciding what to leave in and what to not, what to exclude. So uh, the standard four quadrant prioritizing matrix has been around for a long time, and though there's some arguments about whether or not you know it's it's valid for everything, it's certainly valid for many occasions. In um, <clears throat> this matrix, you you look at the uh, the cost or difficulty it's going to take to implement some uh, aspect of a solution versus the benefit you're going to achieve, and then decide whether or not uh, it's actually going to go into the solution. The must-haves are the ones that give you um, the most benefit for the uh, the lowest cost. When uh, you finally start the exercises, it's uh, with those aspects in mind. First thing you do is just kind of go through and understand the, the current scenario. Uh, in the book, of course, we're using the publication industries database, pubs, and um, they sell wholesale um, books from various different publishers. Anyway. Um, because there's no human to interact with, I've provided both the questions and the answers just as examples. So there's really not a whole lot to do here. Basically, you have to go through and kind of read the questions and answers. And then, ideally, you'd kind of come up with your own question, questions and answers uh, by doing pretty much what I did here. Just kind of write them down. Ask a question in your mind and answer it as best you can. After a while, you get better at it, and uh, you'll be able to formulate these questions uh, in real life. So, as I said, there's not much to do in the first exercise. It's basically just to get an understanding of how uh, you would approach this, uh, this process. Hopefully, this video will untangle any other questions you may have had.